and Bentley MAM. The tools for placing and editing XFM feature instance can be found in Command Manager. The Command Manager contains a list of feature definition as defined in Bentley Geospatial Administrator. It is only available when running Bentley MAP with workspace created in GSA and list the tools and method that were exported from the corresponding XFM project to that specific workspace. So, if you are not starting your Bentley map using any workspace, your command manager won't be visible in Bentley map session. To create command manager, you need to expand user interface. Under user interface, there is option called command manager. The command manager list is still empty. Now you need to right click command manager and select add command manager list. You need to check include method name in labels and you need to click OK. As you can see your command manager is no more empty. It consists of category name, label, key in command and type. Now again go to method. You need to select pipe and uncheck this option called include in command manager menu and apply when you will come back to command manager and you will update that command manager you would be able to see that again your command manager is empty because you disable the setting include in command manager menu in method now we'll go back we'll check it include in command manager menu and apply and we will update our command manager again as you can see our options are back now you need to click save so that you can save your schema along with the command manager. Let's recapitulate what we have done until now. First, we have created a new geospatial schema that is feature creation.xml. Then we created a new feature called pipe. We defined the symbology for this feature, but it does not have any properties yet. Next, we added the placement metadata to the feature in order to generate the associate method and operations. And finally, we added the placement command for the pipe feature to command manager list. There is still one step to go before we can test the new feature in Bentley map. We have to create a geospatial user workspace and export the metadata to actually generate the workspace file. This workspace must be specified when starting Bentley map in order to load the feature definition and to be able to access the workspace specific source file. Now to create user workspace, you need to right click user workspace node, add user workspace in workspace name uh, give it as water description would be water network now in plot scales you need to select the method to display the plot scale in this workspace it can be english metric or both so we will choose the option of english now we have to assign base source directory in this base source directory we need to select the directory that contain the base source files for the new workspace typically such a directory contain subdirectories like seed cell sim or dgn lib and when the export command is executed the content of base source directory is copied into workspace directory and this workspace directory is created Below the project directory, the first time export command is been executed. Then comes command manager type. It can be tree or it can be combo. The user is free to change the style at any time. By default, the command manager is open in tree style and can be docked on the right or left side of application. After assigning all value, you need to click on OK. So here you can see that your water workspace is created. Now you need to save it. 
Now the final step would be we need to click the export button in GSA. In order to export all the metadata, generate the XML files and workspace, configuration file and copy the defined source file to the appropriate workspace folders. As I have clicked export, you can see here the message command invoke finished successfully appear in the lower left corner of GSA. That means your data is exported successfully. To check our new feature in Bindly map, we will run this workspace. We will select the work.dgn and we will click on open. As you can see in command manager, it shows a list of features that are available for current workspace. There is only one feature available now, the feature pipe with a placement method. This feature is stored in category network. Double click pipe feature to activate the placement tool. When defining the placement method, for pipe feature, we have set the method type to place standard comp curve. This placement type provides option to provide or place linear or arc segments to construct a complex chain. It also provides option to create geometry parallel to existing geometry. So here we will create a new pipe. And it's done. As we have created the pipe, we will analyze our result. The analyze result dialog opens, showing only the length of pipe. No other feature properties are available yet, except for this automatically generated property. So here I have shown you how you can create one new feature in GSA and you can test it in Bentley map. In my next video, I will show you how to generate the property for this feature. I hope you have enjoyed this video and learned how to create a new feature in GSA. Thank you.